Hi, in this uh, video, I'll talk about the SAS PROC, PROC uh, distance. Uh, PROC distance is basically used for uh, two purposes. Uh, the first use of PROC distance is to measure uh, the distance between two uh, variables. Um, if you have a group of variable, you can create a, a distance matrix uh, which will have the uh, distance between the uh, variables. You can also have a distance matrix uh, with a with an ID variable. So ID could be a countries or the um, the candidate ID or anything. The uh, second use of uh, proc distance is to standardize your data. So uh, what is standardization? Well, standardization is like um, it, it's a methodology in which we convert uh, all the variables into uh, a single unit or we convert all the unit uh, all the variables uh, unitless okay uh, for example there are two variables one is height and other one is weight uh, height is measured in terms of uh, meter or centimeter whereas weight is uh, measured in terms of uh, kilogram or uh, you know so when you use in analysis they have two different uh, you know two different uh, types of units so what we do is that we uh, uh, we do something in order to make them unitless so we do some uh, transformation to it there are uh, you know several type of transformation to ensure that they are in the uh, they can be compared easily okay they are unitless so that's uh, nothing but uh, standardization um, we can do both using proc distance so uh, i'll do uh, I'll, I'll do the first one. I'll create a distance matrix uh, using the data set that you can see on the screen. It's um, it has different uh, food sources and uh, the corresponding uh, protein content. And um, uh, I have got different countries for uh, in the Europe. So uh, my intention here is to see how the uh, protein content um, in different countries. Um, corresponding to you know different uh, food items are, are different okay what what exactly is the distance between them okay or um, you know how how are the different or what is the similarity which countries are similar or which countries are different so that's my intention uh, so the syntax is like this prop distance data input data set if you want to uh, save your output you have to use the out uh, statement method by default is Euclid so we, what it computes is the Euclidean distance in the where statement um, you need to uh, prove you need to provide the uh, input variables you have red meat white meat milk and all these variables so uh, we start with the first variable uh, two dashes and then the end variable so all the variables will be taken care of um, or you can mention all the variables, individual variables, uh, in, inside the bracket. And the ID is country uh, because that's the unique value here. And uh, we're doing it, and then we are printing, printing the out data. Okay, so this will be saved in a work library, and we're just printing it. When we uh, run this, we'll get the output like this. Uh, we'll get the uh, uh, the distance matrix like this. So you can see. <coughs> Uh, it's the distance, distance between uh, the corresponding between the uh, you know uh, the uh, countries. So the protein level, uh, the distance between the protein level, average protein level in the food items between Austria and Albania is 5.77, and that of and that with Belgium is 5.6. So with Belgium, Albania is uh, you know very similar than Austria so that's we that's the way we uh, you know interpret it uh, so we can see some low figure also 1.9 so the protein content level with Czechoslovakia and Austria are same okay so that's how we interpret this matrix uh, it may not be used directly it's used um, in in finance in, in even in uh, marketing uh, analytics this can also be used for uh, you know clustering and some other techniques 
the next use of proc distance is standardization so that we can also use proc distance for you know standardizing the different variables